Hello, folks. We are the Detroit Sports Bloggers. Uh, it's a great day today. It's the uh, national holiday that isn't. It's opening day for the Tigers. Uh, we got a uh, season preview coming for you today. We're going to look at the, uh, the uh, three major stats for the Tigers, hitting, pitching, and fielding, and uh, look at the Central as a whole. Uh, Curtis, what do we got going on first? Well, let's talk about the wonderful hitting that hopefully is going to be displayed this year. Um, well, you obviously have to, with this team, you have to start with the three, four hitters and uh, Prince Fielder and Miguel Cabrera, two of the uh, best hitters in the game on the same team right next to each other now. Uh, Prince had 38 bombs last year. Cabrera had 30, but he also had 344, which is unbelievable. He has a combination of power and average. Um, they're, they're, they should be dominant. There's no doubt. Um, you got Avila, a catcher, is a solid catcher. Expect another solid year from here from him. Uh, Santiago at second base, you know, I think they'll, he'll, they'll be fine with him. But, I mean, they could get somebody else uh, later in the season. I can see them making a deal. Uh, shortstop, Giant Peralta, hopefully another solid year for him. He was a steal as well. Um, Delman Young, spec big things. Uh, he had eight home runs in 40 games with the Tigers uh, regular season-wise and came up big in the postseason for them. Uh, Brendan Bosch. Austin Jackson, Ryan Rayburn, you know, all young, younger players expected to do big things as well. Uh, hopefully, I think the key, though, uh, for this lineup is Austin Jackson. Uh, it all starts with him at the top, and if he can, uh, I, you know, he hit 249. If he can get that up to his 270, 280, I think this lineup could be lethal. Yeah, uh, they, uh, they were tweaking his uh, batting stance in spring training. It looked like he was uh, getting some good results on that. Uh, yeah, if you can get the average down, or the average up and the strikeouts down, that'd be a, a big key for this team. Uh, another guy up at the top, Brennan Bosch. I mean, I, he could lead the league in runs this year with those two bat behind him. I mean, guy swings at the at everything, but they're going to have to give him straight heat because then you can't mess around with him with uh, Cabrera and Fielder right behind him. So, I mean, he's going to get some great pitches this year, so it's going to be uh, great for him this year. Uh, the only guy I'm kind of worried about is Peralta. I mean, he did have a career year career year last year, so I don't know if he's going to be able to stay hitting about 300, but I mean, if he can hit 270, 280, that would that'd work for me, you know, I mean, your shortstop's not supposed to be this big power hitter anyway, but I mean, he had 21 home runs, 86 RBI last season, so you can't complain too much about that from your 6-7 hitter, so uh, the only guy you have said to worry about is Santiago slash, uh, slash Rayburn slash Brandon Inge when he makes it back, so second base, if they can find an upgrade, I'd love to see one. All right, as for the pitching, um, really not much to say. I mean, at the top you got Verlander, Fister, who was great. Uh, it would be good if he can keep up what he did, but I, don't, I expect him to come down to earth a little but still be solid. Uh, you got Max, had 15 wins last year. Uh, Rick Porcello and Drew Smiley uh, eventually will be um, the rotation. And, I, you know, the, the bullpen solid as well with Valverde at the back end and New pickup, Dotel and uh, Benoit in the middle, or 7th and 8th, most likely. You know, they're they're pretty solid, too. Um, I, you know, there's there's not much to say. The top is great. Uh, it'll be Porcello and Smiley who, uh, if this team's going to win big, they're going to have to come up big. I mean, it's Smiley slash Turner. I think as soon as uh, he's back to form and uh, has a couple starts on AAA, I think they're going to have to give him a shot again, too. I don't know. I think Smiley might just be holding down the spot until Turner comes back from his uh, dead arm issues. Uh, the big pickup was uh, uh, Octavio Dotel. I mean, I think that guy is going to be a stud in the seventh inning. It's going to make Benoit better. It's going to make Valverde better. Uh, I heard a stat on the radio last night. Uh, going into the eighth inning with the lead, the Tigers did not lose a single game last season. So, I mean, the back end was just phenomenal. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, it's going to come up to uh, – the four or five starters, whoever they end up being throughout the year, it's going to depend on who's going to do well this year. Uh, Dotel, I mean, I, the guy, is, he's, he's solid. I mean, he won, he's on his 13th team. I mean, the guy gets passed around more than a beer bong at a frat party, but he's playing really well. He's pitched really well wherever he goes. So it's amazing that nobody holds on to him for longer you know, than a year. As for the fielding, uh, there's a lot of question marks on this team, uh, especially at third base with Miguel Cabrera. A lot of people don't think he's going to make the transition. Um, I know he's lost about 20 to 25 
pounds, as the reports say, and you know he that's his natural position technically. So I think he'll do all right. Um, will he make a lot of errors? Probably, but is it worth it? Well, it depends depends when he makes those errors, but you know if he comes up at the right times, there's nothing to worry about. Um, the rest of the team, though, pr pretty solid. I mean, Prince Prince is a big guy at first, but you know, he's been playing it pretty well. He's vegetarian, losing weight, you know. But uh, I think he's got some mo mobility there. The other, the only other spot I can think of being a problem is left field, Delman Young. But other than that, I think they'll be all right. Yeah, you know, I mean, the whole left side of the infield. Uh, Peralta's steady, but he doesn't have the range he used to. So, I mean, there's going to be a lot of seeing-eye singles get through the left side of the infield that really weren't that close to being gotten anyway. So, uh, like I said, I think as long as, I mean, the only guy I think is going to be a real issue for would be uh, Fister and uh, Porcello. As they're, the, they're the ground ball pitchers, so hopefully they can uh, get them hit to somebody. Otherwise, might have a little bit of issues with that. So, All right, And then uh, looking at an X-Factor for the team this season, uh, I got uh, I think it's going to be Brennan Bosch. Like I said, I think that guy is going to lead the uh, entire league in uh, runs. Uh, he's going to have to get – pitchers are going to have to give him straight heat. They don't want to walk in. They can't, like – you can't basically pussyfoot around him. I mean, you have to give that guy pitches with Fielder and Cabrera behind him. So I think Brennan Bosch is coming for a great year this year. Uh, you know, there, there's so many things, uh, you know, X Factor could be. But uh, I like Austin Jackson. Um, you know, I think that if he starts stealing more bases, you know, he is one of the lone threats to steal a base on this team. But if he starts doing a little more running and uh, getting on, gets that average up, you know, doesn't have to hit home runs. Um, just needs to get on base, gets that um, on base percentage up, then I think the Tigers will do well. It just proves how big of a uh, how big the uh, top lineup we think is going to be this year if we got both of those guys coming as the X factors. Yeah. Uh, looking at the Central Division, uh, Tigers ran away with it last year, won by 15 games over the Indians. Um, the only team in the division to actually break 500, which sucks. Um, <laughs> I think they're going to run away with it again this year. Uh, I think they'll win about 97, 98 games and win the division by at least 10. I mean, Kansas City is getting there. I'll give them two more years. I bet they'll be in the playoffs, but I think it's this is Detroit's year. So what do you think? Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. You know, uh, I, I got 96 wins for this team. But, you know, I, I think, they'll, like you said, they'll win the division probably by eight, ten games. Um, Cleveland, you know, people are saying Cleveland's the biggest threat to them. I, I just don't see it, especially if uh, Jimenez pitches like he did when he came to Indians last year. That that won't that won't cut it for the Indians. Uh, Kansas City, you know they they got a real young team, but they lost Soria for the year. That that's a huge loss for them. Uh, the White Sox, um, who? I mean, yeah. they it just seems like they just fell off the map. Um, and then Minnesota. I think Minnesota is going to be the team uh, to watch. I mean, I know they lost Kubel and Kadire, and they lost a lot of their power, but I just, you know, something about Ron Gartenheyer. I know they lost 99 games. They don't have a lot of pieces, but you never know with that team. They could, they could give the Tigers fits because they've done it in years past where they didn't, weren't expected to do much. So I could, but overall, I just see them win about, like you said, 96, 98 games and taking this division. Yeah, I mean, the M&M boys down in Minnesota, I mean, if they're healthy, that's another solid 3-4 line in the lineup. I mean, you can build around that. So, and Minnesota is definitely a wild card team, but it shouldn't be an issue this year at all. Detroit should run away. Right. Well, folks, uh, once again, we are the Detroit Sports Bloggers. I'm Rob Stone. And I'm Curtis Pulliam. Uh, enjoy the games today.